They are Chicago's black cowboys taking to the streets this Juneteenth, the day enslaved blacks received word they were finally free. CBS News Vermont Terry live in Bronzeville, where those cowboys caught the attention of just about everyone. Vermont. Brad, throughout the day, there were many celebrations commemorating Juneteenth, but the impromptu horseback stroll down King Drive left so many people in awe. They are the sounds and sights you don't see every day. Horses trotting down King Drive in Bronzeville, carrying black cowboys. Happy Juneteenth, Black Lives Matter. Juneteenth is the day slaves in Texas learned they were free in 1865, two years after the Emancipation Proclamation was signed. But these horse lovers opted to come together to bring awareness beyond the day. And we wanted to make a statement about Juneteenth. We wanted to make a statement about George Floyd's murder as well as other people that have been killed brutally by police officers. I'm a police officer. The idea to hit the streets on horseback came to Murdoch in a dream. And in four short days, more than 30 riders and horses marched from 55th to 35th on King Drive. He stood for so much peace. He's out here, man, just trying to do something peaceful, man. I love it, man. As they headed to Washington Park, those along the way felt the love. That's what we're talking about, June 10th. That's right. That's right. Once at the park, the kids had a chance to experience what blew them away, the sight of black cowboys and horses. Yeah, all I wanted to do was just get on it. But the youngsters also understood the relevance of this day of unity. Of uh, celebration of what? Of the country. Africa, America. One thing for certain, somebody's going to remember this to tell their kids their grandchildren, what took place in Washington Park with all the horse riders and the black cowboys that were out in the space at the time. Now, the cowboys are hoping to make this annual stroll down King Drive on Juneteenth, but we should also point out that Juneteenth has long been celebrated by African Americans across the country. It's just this year it's gaining national attention, with many people calling for it to be a federal and or state holiday. Reporting live in Bronzeville tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News.